what's up and welcome back to Buy Stuffy Nick. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys five quick and easy ideas for hobbies or activities anyone could get into if they've been feeling stressed out, anxious, or just plain old bored. I mean, I know I'm not the only one who when they have a moment of downtime is like, straight to the phone, start scrolling, see what's up. Mm -mm. This is not good. This is not healthy. I'm a firm believer that social media is super toxic and I'm trying my best to stay as far away from it as possible. So I've turned to trying to figure out some IRL activities that I can get into that will keep me off of this thing. We're done with that. Side note, I know it seems kind of ironic that I just bashed social media, yet I'm posting this on social media right now. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> but I'm gonna go a little more into this and idea number five. There are healthier forms of social media, healthier like platforms and ways to do it. So hold off the judgment. I'm not a hypocrite. So to jump right into the list, hobby number one. So I think we can all agree, music is a pretty universal de-stressor. I've tried to learn a whole bunch of different instruments over the years, some more successful than others. For the quick rundown, piano, drums, guitar, I've tried it all. But anyway, I've started out learning a new instrument recently that has been so fun and I feel like it's not super difficult. I'm talking about the ukulele. It's still in the box. But I've been playing it, I promise. So real quick, I'm just gonna run through why I feel the ukulele is kind of the perfect instrument for you to pick up and learn if you're looking for a hobby. We ready for it? Let's go. Number one, it is inexpensive. You can look on Amazon and get a starter ukulele and book explaining everything for like 30, 40 bucks. That is not too bad. It is light and portable, unlike a piano. Yes. And this is basically like the easier version of guitar. It is only four strings rather than six. It is way tinier, so you don't have to like struggle like reaching all like the notes and the chords. This is compact. Little Zoe Deschanel vibes over here. And finally, one more awesome thing about the ukulele is that you don't need a teacher. You can 100% teach yourself all the basic chords and probably any song you'd ever wanna learn just through YouTube tutorials. Like last night, I just looked up Easy Ukulele Bruno Mars Count On Me and I learned that and it was so fun, so. The ukulele, hobby number one. And on to activity number two. If the ukulele seems a little too difficult for you, you're like, I, I know I can't master an instrument, but I want something else. I wanna be creative. I want something to do. Enter in diamond dots. This is the creative artsy activity for anyone who's not creative or artsy. There's been lots of research on coloring, like for adults, how it's a really good de-stressor. For me, I found it's, it's a stressor. Like picking which color and having to draw inside the lines. I, no, it's... It's not good. All that, major stressor. That's why I prefer this. Basically, let me tell you what this is. It is called Diamond Dots. In the box, you get this fabric sheet with the pattern printed out here. This one is a pattern of a black cat. And it's almost like a color by number, except for it's with these little sequins. So you have this sticky tool and you pick up the little sequins and just put them exactly where it says to put them on the fabric sheet and then you create this little piece of art. It's pretty impossible to mess up and I love how it's kind of like mindless. You don't have to put too much thought into it. You're just putting the sequins where they're supposed to be. It's a very like organized, nice, relaxing type of thing to do. Like while you're watching TV, you're listening to music, listening to a podcast, and then you end up with like a awesome piece of art that you created. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend this Diamond Dots as a nice like de-stressing activity for you to pick up. I'll try to find some links to some cute patterns and leave below. Hobby number three is for all you insta obsessed out there. I've always been really into photography, taking pictures of everything, and definitely through Instagram I've become even more into it. But Instagram definitely adds this like unhealthy aspect of competition and comparison that I want to get away from, so I wanted to bring my photography back to real life and there's no better way to do that than with some instant photography. With photography on your phone or a DSLR, picture kind of stays digital unless you actually go and get it printed out, which you know, you're not likely to do. And then if you are, you wanna go through all the editing first. A lot more work goes into that, whereas with the instant camera, you literally snap the picture, it prints out with this beautiful filtering and you have a physical copy of your picture right away. It's amazing. I just traveled to Miami with my friends and I took my instant camera with me. We had the best time going around taking fun pictures. Like we went to the beach, so we have cute beach pictures, little palm tree sky shot, more pictures of my friends. It's honestly such a fun thing to travel with. It creates these like fun in the moment memories that you then get to hold on to forever. And then what I like to do when I get back, I put them into like these albums. It's such a fun way to look back on memories of a trip like with your friends, your family. The only downside is that the film can get a little expensive. It's like a little under a dollar per shot. So I'm not gonna use this every day as my main camera. But when I travel for 
for sure or when I have like a family party whip out the camera it's a fun time everyone gets so into it and it's, it's worth the money absolutely love this camera I'll leave all its details and a direct link to buy it down below if you're interested I'll leave the Amazon link for the cheapest film that I've found down below yeah so 100% recommended check it out Ooh, it's getting warm. Would it be weird if I put my hair up? Hobby number four that you can get into is a really practical one and it is cooking and or baking. I like this one. It's cool double because cooking will appeal to some people and baking to others and for some people both. I like both. I've been cooking and baking a ton more recently and it's a really cool way to spend your time because you're putting your effort into creating something that very soon you're able to reap the benefits of. By that I mean you get to eat the foods. Yeah. With cooking, you can go the healthy route, make a nice vegetable-based dish. I just made chicken teriyaki recently. It was so good. And you can get really creative with cooking. You can kind of just like throw everything together, see how it comes out. Usually it's good, sometimes not. Just throw it out, don't tell anyone about it. With baking, you gotta be a little more exact, you know, measure out your ingredients. That's not for everyone. But then you end up with some fun desserts and treats. Like I just made blueberry muffins that were so good and chocolate chip cookie sticks are my thing right now. And again, this is another thing you can look up tons of recipes for baking, cooking, whatever. It's all out there. Anything that you're in the mood to make, you just look it up tons of easy recipes. Speaking of, I'm actually gonna link it right here. I think it was my second ever video. I made a donut baking recipe video, so check that out. It's cringeworthy, but the donuts tasted incredible. If you've never really tried out cooking or baking, definitely give it a shot, you might love it. And finally, hobby number five, the fifth thing that you can do, and I referenced this one before, it is this not my room. YouTube. <laughs> if you have something that you're passionate about, something that you want to talk about, show, do, teach, start a YouTube channel, share it with the world. I mentioned back in the intro that there are different types of social media. It can be toxic or can be healthy. And I feel like if you are taking the control and you are using social media as a tool for you to be creative and put your stuff out there, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just when you cross over into the comparison between your content and their content, or you're just on there literally watching other people's lives, being jealous of them, that's where it gets bad, that's where it gets ugly and unhealthy. Social media can either drag you down or build you up, so you gotta take the control and starting a channel over something that you're passionate about or an Instagram page or a Facebook group for something that you wanna talk about and share with the world, that's cool, that's great, do it. And with that, I feel like that kind of rounds out the list of hobbies and activities that you can get into if you just feel like you need to do something and you're sick of this or trying to get away from it. I hope there was something in that list that spoke to you and helped you out and gave you something you know to be excited about. Definitely scroll down and leave a big like on this video if it did so it can get out there and help the others spread the love around. If you enjoyed and you wanna hang out with me in the future, definitely also you can subscribe down below to join the Bicep Phoenix fam. And to never miss a video, you definitely wanna ring that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. It's a move, you're gonna instantly join the notification club and yeah. It's a cool place to be. If you have questions about anything that I mentioned or you have your own awesome hobby idea that you wanna share, definitely leave that all down below in the comments. I'd love to read it. I really enjoyed filming today's video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And yeah, as always, this was by Stephanie Nix. Bye.